It's winter fashion time, and at Mom Trends, we want you to know how to wear faux fur with confidence and style. So there are five rules in my book to styling fur, faux fur, and especially the vest, because this is the most popular item when it comes to wearing fur, because it's the easiest one to style, and it makes you look the least like a polar bear. So starting from the top, tip number one, it looks better with your hair pulled back. If I had my hair down, and I've got a lot of hair, it just looks like too much fur. You you start to look like a creature, not a human. So hair pulled back, then you notice the fur more, you notice your face more. So if you can, it's a great time to work a bun, a ponytail. This has got like a little braid into a ponytail. Sometimes a lot of hair, like you've blown it out and got big tendrils. It's just a little bit too much. Next tip is with the neckline. Now with the fur, a lot of times it comes up around your face, frames your face nicely, and it has a lot of fun colors. So that's a bad time to wear a statement necklace. It's just gonna be too much going on, and it's pretty much gonna get hidden. But it is a great time to wear a pair of earrings. So I'm just wearing this pair I got from Shiny Mix, so it's a fun focal, but it's not too dangly. With super dangly earrings, again, are just gonna get a little distracting from the fur itself. Next, what to layer underneath the fur. You're gonna want something with sleeves, first of all, because if you wear something sleeveless with the fur vest, it's gonna make you look a little bit like a cave woman. You wanna avoid that for sure. So you can certainly wear bell sleeves, big dolman sleeves, those are a lot, a lot of fun. Or if you wanna do something a little more fitted, this is a turtleneck from Cabby, and it's nice and fitted and lean so you don't look oversized in your vest. Now you certainly can belt the vest. This one has a long fur on it, so when I've tried to belt it before, the belt gets kind of hidden and it just looks strange, so I've decided to not belt this vest, but it's certainly a way to create a waist with the vest as well. Uh, moving on to number three, what to wear on the bottom. My tip is you either wanna show some leg or wear something slim. I love the look of a boho dress with just a little bit of it peeking out underneath the vest with bare legs. That's great because then again, you're giving your, your proportions back. So you're gonna show like the thin part of your leg and you're not gonna look too linebacker-y, bare leg. So you can do a skinny jean, you can do a legging, you can do a jegging, or you can do a dress that shows off a little bit of leg and that way you'll have the right proportions and you will not look oversized. And finally, when it comes to shoes, the same thing. So if you're wearing a boho dress, it's a great thing to wear a fitted boot or a booty where you're gonna see that nice long line of your calf and your ankle. So I've got some fitted boots on now with skinny jeans. Again, since the vest is oversized, I'm proportioning everything else to be the most flattering as possible. We're also gonna drop in some looks of our photo shoot that we did styling our vest. And you can see here that we have the boho look combined with the vest and we've done it with a legging and a lower pair of heels so it's a fun fashion find it's a lot of fun to play with definitely want to get one to your winter wardrobe and if you follow these five simple steps on how to accessorize and put together your fur this season you'll be looking sharp for more fashion tips and tricks be sure to subscribe to our channel and head over to momtrends.com for your daily dose of style